Hi and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those of you who are wanting to really rock your life and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. You will get through this. You will get through this. No matter how hard it feels right now, you will get through it. How do I know that? I know that because you're still here. You are a survivor. I am a survivor. We are survivors. We've all had life happen to us in the past. And some of it, and I remember in some of my deepest, darkest times, and I've had them too, I promise, where I had to draw on such faith of just like fucking hang in there, Jan, to think that I would get through it and breathe and do all those stress management things to, to manage it. But it's interesting. A few years ago, I saw Oprah. Oprah Winfrey saw her live. Gorgeous friends collected a group of us together and we got to go and see Oprah. And her closing monologue I recorded. And I'm going to read it out to you because I got such a defining and understanding in life from her closing monologue. So here we go. All these years, take down the old love letters, take them all down from the bookshelves, the photographs, all the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror and sit and feast on your life. That thing, that thing, the only difference between me and everybody else is that I consciously pay attention to the voice. I'm aware of it. I honor and I listen to it and I am guided by something bigger. I was born to be used, to use this personality to serve my soul. When you learn this, joy will open up. That's the reason we're all here because there is no life without a spiritual life. You are a spirit in a body and it does not matter how many times you have been frustrated or stuck or scared. It does not matter even disappointed and disheartened because you're still here. And if you are here, it means that you get a second chance. You get a second chance and it does not matter how many times you have been turned down or turned away or stopped cold in your tracks from disappointment, betrayal, anything, because people will let you down sometimes. It doesn't matter if you feel you've lost your way or never imagined that your life would turn out the way it is. It doesn't matter because you are still here. There have been times when you might have thought that you failed or not deserved the life that you want because you wanted so much more. Time has passed. The kids are grown. You might have thought you were not smart enough or pretty enough or good enough. Well, here's the biggie, worthy enough. I'm here to tell you that whatever has happened to you was also happening for you. All of those times you felt tested in turmoil, alone and abandoned, all those times that you felt nobody cared and you did not matter. This is what was happening. You were building strength and strength, times strength, times strength, times strength, times strength equals power. Universal energy is all the forces of life. All that is God is ready in an instant to move your life in a new direction. So this night, Get ready to claim your power. Set a new vision to see yourself from a different perspective. Stop looking back, holding on to the past. Look ahead to a new direction and as far as your eye can see, know this for sure. The universe can see beyond and that is where you are heading. So take your glory and run because you are still here. Oh, my God. When Oprah said that, I just went, I didn't cry thinking about it. It was huge for me. You know, we've all got stuff that happened to us, and that's going to continue. That's life. The universe gives us contrast. We get to choose whether we focus forward or whether we keep going back, looking for the, the crap parts of it. And I get it. We have to heal. But while we keep going back and digging it up, we dig the wound deeper. We survived. We're here. We're still here. We got through no matter what it was. I don't want any kid to ever have my childhood 
I fucking survived it. And I'm so grateful that I'm still here. And I know that the universe will keep giving me lessons and I choose to focus forward. I've lived that way now for a couple of decades since I started to understand this, really understand this. However, this was a pivotal moment for me. So I want you to go to the show notes and I want you to read it. I'm going to place this monologue there for you to read or just re-listen to this episode again and really get the words. We're in control. Where are you looking? Are you looking forward to everything that you want? It's time to run to our futures and claim our birthright to have a fucking epic life instead of focusing on the shit that's dragged us down in the past. Draw the line in the sand. Like Oprah said, we're still here. We're here still for a reason. We're here to fulfill whatever it is we're meant to to fulfill, but we're here still. You have a second chance today. What if you chose to move forward to the future and live your future out of the present today instead of living your future out of the past? It's huge. And it was a defining moment in my life. I hope it holds something for you because it it just, it gave me a piece on my past And I've shared this with so many people ever since because it it was a game changer for me. So I really encourage you to go to the show notes, www.healthylifehacks.com.au and check out the closing monologue. Download it uh, and read it regularly. I have it saved on my phone in my notes section on my phone so I can read it regularly. It's that important to me. When I'm going through shit and we all do at times, I bring myself back to center, and this is one of the ways that I bring myself back to center. We have a second chance. Let's make life epic. I want to thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcast. Every month, I draw one lucky person who leaves a review to have a free one-hour consultation with me. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you're tuning in from so that you always catch the next episode. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. Until next time, remember, when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.